All right, welcome back, Wanderers. And we are on an adventure today. Um, today we are heading to... Bardstown. 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 I don't know why. I okay, and we are going to be doing... A distillery and a winery. We're doing the winery? I would like to get to the winery. I don't want wine fudge. Well, this, they still have wine. You don't need to eat the wine uh, fudge. Fine. Wine fudge just fudge just sounds weird. So she told me about this winery the other day. She says, oh, and by the way, they have wine fudge. That just sounds weird. But they have wine slushies and they have regular wine and... <sighs> All right, so we're going to a winery and a <laughs> distillery. <laughs> um, just because we like to wander and try something different, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, just remember to like, share, subscribe. Com su subscribe, comment, follow, and most importantly, get out and do some wandering yourself. Um, it's good to follow our wandering, but it's also good to wander yourself. It's good for your sanity and that is in short supply these days. <laughs> so, make sure you get out, like, subscribe, follow, wander. And let the adventure begin. Exactly. We'll talk to you soon. All right, welcome back, Wanderers. And today, we ventured down to Bardstown, and we are at Bardstown Bourbon Distillery. Bourbon, um, Company. bourbon Company, sorry. Uh, so we're actually gonna uh, wander up here. And so, unfortunately, there were no tours available. So, that means we're just gonna go and do a flight or two or three. Um, until we're flying. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Just kidding. We'll do we'll do some tastings just to figure out what this company is all about. Experience the experience to experience. Something like that. <laughs> um, but we want to uh, encourage you guys to keep wandering and uh, get out, try something different. If you haven't done it before, because that's what wandering is all about. So, I'm actually going to turn around real quick so you can see the building, it's a beautiful building in front of us, but it will soon be behind us. So, turn the camera around. There we go. So, you can see all the vats in there and stuff like that that we would see on the tour. And it smells absolutely amazing. It smells like big loaves of bread out here. Very pretty building. Looks fairly really uh, too. Those are the brick house houses over we'll in the distance. Feeling. And again, we know this because we have been on several tours. We enjoy taking tours. But these are always my favorite. Those are the... Man, I forget what they call them. The stills, where everything gets shot up and heated and all that fun stuff. So we are going to go inside. We have to mask up so we can go experience our experience to experience. And we'll uh, we'll talk to you soon. We'll keep you updated. Uh, blend them our own way to, to try to make the blend 
the finished product tastes better than the individual components by themselves. So discovery number one, 75% of it was an 11 year old bourbon. Um, it's got some five year, 10 year, and some 13 year bourbons as well. So you can see all the mash bills and the exact ages of those different bourbons and how much of each are in there. Uh, with these, we really want to just celebrate the art of blending. Uh, we left the discovery number one and two at cast strength. And discovery one was at 121.2. So uh, we do have some water if you want to maybe drop a little bit in there. That's up to you. Then discovery number two is that third one. Uh, it's a blend of 10 year old, 12 year, and then 14 year burgers. So much more age, uh, lots of character on this one. Uh, 122 fruit, so the fruit went up a little bit. Don't let that like change your thoughts because I think this one's probably the smoothest out of all three on that first flight. So that's the bourbon flight. Let me know what y'all think. Now you down here have the collaborative flight as well. So in the collaborative series, these are all finished bourbons. So we're taking, we're getting fully aged bourbons. Again, just like with the Discovery, we source them from a bunch of different places. Uh, and we're finishing those in different barrels uh, that we uh, we're getting with uh, we're getting from other companies. So Goodwood Brewing Company, they're up in Louisville. Uh, so we you know we celebrate them right on the label. They do a lot of barrel aged beers. So they got uh, or they made a walnut ale. It was like a brown ale, dark beer that they aged in oak barrels. So you know some of that beer soaks into the wood. They empty the beer and send it to us, uh, and we put a nine-year-old Tennessee bourbon in those Goodwood barrels for 18 months. So 18 months is a really long finish for a bourbon, a year and a half. Just all those flavors really come together from the bourbon with that, that beer barrel component. 103 proof on that one. In the middle is a sherry finish. So this one, Copper and Kings, they're up in Louisville, Craft Brandy Distillery. They sent us some Spanish Oloroso sherry barrels. Sherry is like a fortified wine after dinner drink. Uh, we took a 12 year Indiana bourbon, finished it in those sherry barrels for 18 months. So you see that dark, kind of reddish color. Uh, that was added in that finish, you know, and then tons of characteristics from the sherry, like raisin, dried fruit type. Uh, this was really nice. 100 food. And then this last one, you guys could, if you wanted to go to the couch, yeah, yeah, there's a draft. Yeah. Uh, if you, yeah, you can take them to the couch or in there to the couches over there. Yeah, yeah. So then the last one there, it's a double finish. So two different finishing barrels. We did, uh, it was a 10 year bourbon that we finished in Copper and King's Muscat Mistel barrels. So Mistel is like a dessert brandy. Copper and Kings, they're a brandy distillery up in Louisville. So they sent us the Mistel barrels. We put the 10 year bourbon in those barrels for, again, 18 months. But then we did a second finish. We pulled it out of the Mistel barrels, and put it back into another set of brand new charred oak barrels for 18 more months. So two finishes. And with this one, we only did two barrels of it. So with this, we just only had about 400 bottles, and that was it. So that's why this flight. A little more exclusive, a little more no, I feel, yeah. yeah. So I do recommend going like left to right on cool. Yeah, yeah, let me know if you got any questions or anything. Got it, thank you. Okay. Finish it. <laughs> Here's this just whenever y'all are ready, Thank no you. rush.
thicker. Okay. Still the 121 proof. Yeah. Oh, that burns. Yeah, I did. Actually, burn usually bothers me. here's two. This one's 122.2 proof. I can say that. So, it's, it's a Tennessee bourbon, bourbon. But it's aged in a walnut brown ale cast. Right. Oh, that face. Obviously that last one Sam didn't like. I didn't find it, but she's not a big bear fan. Beer, not bear. Uh, so I think that's the difference. It was aged in ale casks. We'll try the second one. So this is the sherry one. This is the sherry cask. I like the sherry one. <clears throat> Didn't he say it was a 
What was the Mistel again? So Mistel is like a dessert brandy. Oh, so okay, it's, yeah, it's yeah. just grape juice and brandy blended together and then aged in a barrel. So it's really low proof, really sweet, because I mean like half of it's just straight grape juice, you know? Yeah. Uh, so it, it's like really popular in like France, it's like an after dinner kind of yeah. sweet dessert beverage, something like that. Okay. Thank you. The Copper and Kings, they're a, a craft American brandy distillery up in New York. So they made, they made a mistel up there and sent us those barrels. It's weird how you can, you can come out like a picture mm -hmm. so much in the barrel. And but it picks up different so things from the barrel. Mm -hmm. like, not like you expect it. Right. Lighting got weird. That just uh, sounds like an alcoholic mixture. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds weird. Something like a mimosa, but we could sit outside and drink it. We could sit outside and drink it. <laughs> I, I really, really wish that I had that on tape. Anyway, I got a wonderful looking old fashioned. I'm still waiting. No. I'm All right. Look at it again. <laughs> so we decided to get some lunch today. Um, while we're down here, they have this beautiful restaurant. So they have this really cool restaurant. And Sam's ducking. I don't know if it's all that. So that is a wall made of grass in the back. I don't know if it's a furry wall. Anyways. Uh, we're just goofing off, having some fun. There is a nice fire pit over there. Uh, we have these really comfy couches and chairs. You can see the uh, stills through the glass from here behind you. So I can see the stills through the glass behind me. You can see all the, <laughs> the mash and everything going through it. Anyways, we're going to drink, <laughs> we're going to eat, we're going to have fun. Remember, get out. Get out, wander, have some fun. Enjoy what you do, because we know we do, and we want you to as well. That's why we're wandering, that's why we're documenting. So don't forget, follow, click, subscribe, comment. Love to hear from you. What do you think of this video? What do you think of all our videos? Just let me know. All right, we'll talk to you soon. All right, so it was over an hour to get a seat. About an hour. So it, it was about an hour to get a seat. We found a loophole. We could <laughs> order takeout, but still sit in the lounge area. 
So we ordered takeout to sit in the lounge area and still enjoy our drinks. I'm still on the chip. You see what I deal with? Anyways, take we'll leave the covers off. I am gonna show you this feast. This is fantastic. Because not only did she get a cop salad. And of course, she's still working with one arm, and I'm working with one arm because I decided to have a camera on. All right, pay attention, because this looks fantastic. Little tiny breads. <laughs> little tiny breads, yes. She just said little tiny breads. So that is her salad. It is a cob salad. This is my fried chicken sandwich with chips that she keeps freaking stealing. This is our appetizer, which is kind of like a meat and cheese board with Pickle. some mustards and pickles <laughs> and bread. So if any of you know what I, I'm doing, I'm doing keto and this is so not keto. The meat and cheese board, that, that is, but that is not. Um, so... Ah, she's eating my chips. <laughs> so anyways, we are going to enjoy lunch and hope you guys have a fantastic day and hope you get a spread like this in front of you. Welcome back Wanderers. <laughs> and today we came down to the BBC, Bardstown Bourbon Company, which is having a giggle fit. Um, and we actually did a flight. Uh, which you saw. I just love that. I'm just gonna smell a vision. If it if we had smell a vision, it would smell like freshly baked bread. It's so weird that it smells like that, but it does. It is absolutely fantastic. Anyways, it so like a bakery. we came down here. We did a flight. We, actually, we did two flights, two samplings, uh, two different bourbon flights, and uh, hopefully you. Took a little bit away from that and uh, want, makes you want to come down here and experience it for yourself. Now, here's the kicker. We needed some food. <laughs> so, we uh, decided to order some food. We found a little loophole in there, no reservation and no uh, an hour wait. Uh, so, we actually sat in the bar area and ordered takeout and got to eat in the bar area which is fantastic so what we're gonna say is come for the Sorry, bourbon but stay for the food uh, the food was really good food was absolutely amazing I had a fried chicken sandwich and I that's totally outside of what I would normally order he actually shared with me it was really amazing. it was amazing it melted in your mouth it was really really good so come for the bourbon to the BBC, Bardstown Bourbon Company, but stay for the food. You will not regret it. Agreed. Stay for the, yes, stay for the food. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. We are here at Chuckleberry Farm and Winery. We're gonna see what a Chuckleberry is and another adventure. And our understanding is they have yes, adventure part two. They have wine fudge. It just grosses me out I'm hearing about it. it, but I love fudge. So what are you gonna do? So stay tuned. Keep watching. Keep wandering. Keep following. Subscribe. And don't forget to let the adventure begin. We'll talk to you guys soon. Alright, so we are back at Chuckleberry Farm and Winery. At Chuckleberry's Farm. Chuckleberry? Chuckleberry's. Eh, it doesn't matter. Farm. So we're actually, uh, we just did a wine tasting. About and a couple bottles. And fudge bottles. tasting. And fudge tasting. Wine fudge. It was delicious. Never would have thought it. Never would have believed it. It was actually really good. So. We are actually going down to the stocked pond because we were told that it is a stocked pond. 
And they have koi fish. And they have koi fish yeah. in the stock pond. So we're going to take a walk down and see what we can see. And uh, they said we were we were able to fish off of here if we wanted. But you didn't bring your pen pole. I didn't. We have not prepared <laughs> Lucy for our adventures. <laughs> and have not stocked our pen pole in the back seat or in the trunk or storage or wherever we decide to put different stuff. So we're gonna check out this pond, which is a pretty cool venue. There's a uh, tin roof barn setup. There's a, uh, you see up behind me in that corner, there's a uh, bird's nest. to see where our wandering takes us. It's a badass grill up there. And Sam. Hi Sam. Sounds like someone playing the flute flute in the distance. All right, Wanderers. Hello. So we were at the winery. It, head there you go. They told us about the Civil War Museum. So we went for a little adventure to find it and to find it was closing in 40 minutes. So they said probably better to do it a different day because not enough time. It entails like actually like three different museums and a whole bunch of little houses and stuff like that. Exactly. So we're going to do that some other time. That'll be another day's wonder. Yep. But at the winery they also told us about the donkey tree. <laughs> Not knowing what to expect we went on an exploration. We and, almost drove by it. And some very very pretty scenery. Um, we found a covered bridge which Sam had, took some pictures of. Yep. And then we came across, middle of nowhere, the donkey tree. So, I will turn the camera around and show you this ass. A donkey just in the middle of nowhere this is what the backwoods of Kentucky is known for a donkey tree so here it is you can look at Kentucky's ass so we have been on a fun filled yep adventure today liquor filled today. Um, donkey tree filled <laughs> adventure we hope you all had a fantastic time wandering with us we hope you got out and wandered yourself not just watching our wandering because that's boring but we want you to get out and wander yourself remember to subscribe click the like button click the bells to Ding. get notification and Put a comment. We'd love to have some feedback on what you think of our wandering. Um, you can tell us to go to hell and you don't like it at all and that's fine. We'll just pull or you off our subscribe list. Even just uh, give us, <laughs> click the thumbs up. Thumbs up would great, like it, be great. You know, with it, you believe this or not, it really does like um, help the channel, support the channel, um, does a lot for the us with the YouTube algorithm and blah 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 all that stuff um, supports us and stuff anyways <laughs> keep wandering keep following and let the adventure begin we'll talk to you guys soon